Welcome back to my channel. So we lived in Arizona a few years back and there's one food that I absolutely miss from Arizona. That is a Sonoran style hot dog. We're gonna be cooking that up on my Yoder flat top. Stay tuned. You can see, look at this bark. It's crazy. Oh man, this is perfect. It helps to start with a nice sharp knife, okay? Oh my goodness. Look at that. All right, welcome back. So let's get started on these Sonoran style hot dogs. I'm gonna go over the ingredient list here real quick. I've got some green onions that we're gonna roast on my Yoder flat top, as well as some jalapenos. We're gonna dice up an onion, some tomato, got a couple of rolls, got some bacon that we're gonna wrap the hot dogs in, and I got some fresh pintos that I made the other day. I also have some jalapeno salsa that we made, some mustard, and some mayonnaise that's gonna go in the Sonoran style hot dog. Let's wrap up the hot dogs, stay tuned. All right, so I'm gonna show you how to wrap a hot dog. Pretty simple process. Nothing to it. There we go. And down in Tucson, there's a place called Huero Canelo, as I mentioned. And that place makes the absolute best Sonoran style hot dog. Okay. So again, no toothpicks or nothing. Wrap another one here. And this is just regular bacon. It's not thick cut or anything. Actually, this piece looks a little thick, but it's just regular bacon. And I am going to be cooking this on my Yoder flat top. So I've got my stainless steel griddle warming up outside. I'm going to get the rest of these hot dogs wrapped up. We're going to put them on the Yoder flat top. We're going to come back inside and chop up these veggies. Stay tuned. All right, so I apologize about the background noise. We had a really bad rainstorm move in just now. So I just put the green onions on the grill. And also the jalapenos. Going to get these nice and roasted. Now, once these jalapenos are roasted, I'm going to put them in a Ziploc baggie, get them nice and soft. And the onions, when they're ready, I'm just going to wrap them in foil. I'm going to give this about a 10 minute head start. Then I'll bring you guys back and put the hot dogs on the griddle. Stay tuned. All right, so my jalapenos and onions are almost ready. So I'm going to go ahead and put the hot dogs on. Listen to that sizzle. Now we're going to be rolling these on the griddle. So separate them a little bit. Now, if you're wondering how I clean up my griddle, um, you know, usually if I don't cook anything too heavy, I can just wipe it down with a, a towel and some water. Um, sometimes I will scrub it with a little bit of soap as well. But if it gets really dirty on you, um, they sell this brick, this grill brick, that you could scrape all that stuff with. You put some oil down and you scrape it down real good and you get this nice shine again and uh, keep the keep the grill nice and clean so we're going to be rolling these as i mentioned probably total cook time is going to be about 10 minutes i'll bring you guys back once the bacon is nice and toasty stay tuned all right so it's been about 10 minutes and what i have been doing is just rotate the hot dog a little bit and it's nice to group them together like this sometimes it'll want to roll back on you then we can just roll them all over at the same time get that bacon nice and crispy on all sides So I'm thinking another five, 10 minutes. Let's go inside and chop up the tomato and onions. Stay tuned. All right, so I've got my tomato chopped up and some onion as well. I'm just gonna put these in a bowl. And nothing else, okay? Just a little bit of salt actually. Okay, pinch of salt. And mix it up. That is perfect. Gonna move that to the side here. Now I got a couple of rolls here, and if you noticed, I cut the ends off, and I also cut a slit down the middle to put the hot dog in. Now these rolls are a little bit big, so that's why I like to cut the edges off. So just got a sharp bread knife here. Make it to a more manageable size, okay? And grab the same knife. Now, I don't want to cut all the way through because remember, we're putting beans and stuff in here and I don't want it to fall out. I want it to be like a boat, if you will. So just kind of spread it out a little bit. Just like that. All right, let's assemble these hot dogs. Stay tuned. All right, let's assemble these Sonoran style hot dogs. 
First off, again, open the roll up a little bit. We're going to put a little bit of mayo in there, just like that. Put your hot dog in there. Might have to open up the bun a little bit or the roll. Okay. Next up, going to add a little bit of pinto beans. Just over the top, just like that. Push that hot dog in there. Okay. All right, we're going to add a little bit of the tomato and onion mixture. Just over the top. If you don't like onions, you can leave the onions out. But I got to tell you, that's what makes this Sonoran style hot dog. Okay. I'm going to top it off with a little bit of mustard. Like that. And a little bit of green jalapeno salsa. Just like that. All right. I'm going to assemble these other two and I'll bring you guys back. Stay tuned. All right, here we have it. We've got our Sonoran style hot dogs, got our roasted jalapenos, got our roasted green onions. This is going to be good. Let's take a taste. All right, let's give these Sonoran style hot dogs a try. My mouth is watering. This is going to be a monster bite. Look at this. There we go. Mmm. Probably got mustard on my nose. That is really good. Gonna bite this jalapeno. Oh. <clears throat> really tasty. Mmm. That is exactly how I remember them. Let's give a green onion a try. Oh man. Flavor explosion. You know, if you guys are ever driving to, through Tucson, skip in and out and go to Huero Canelo and try the, his Sonoran style hot dogs. You will not be disappointed. If you want to get one of these boards, I'm going to leave a link in the description box. You get a discount on it. Check them out, HaveyHome.com. Hope you guys like this video. Till next time, Joe Smoking Joe's Pit Barbecue. See ya.